us um, as individuals, like what we can be doing to your question, like who should we be looking to stay away from? It's really like changing how you interact as a buyer. You know, if you're gonna buy from a fast fashion brand, I mean, like I have on Zara right now, like, uh, of course, they're one of the biggest, you know, controversial ones out there. But if I need something, I'm gonna go down and, and get it, of course, out of convenience, but I'm gonna wear that. I mean, I'm gonna buy a staple piece and I'm gonna wear it at least 20, 30 times. <laughs> It'll sit there for three years, believe me, my closet's like, it's awful. Um, well, the whole core of our mostly agree, like we are, it's okay. And we do plenty of things that aren't yeah, the, the best is, for the environment. You can't, right? But it's realistic, right? Yeah, like yeah. you can't just shove it in someone's face. Like, no, you have to do this and you have to buy everything brown and granola. <laughs> no, you can't because someone will just shut you off yeah. so quick. So it's all about introducing these little habits that, you know, we can be at least thinking about have the conversation, you know, what's mm -hmm. out there, what's going on, at least be aware of it. Keep it in the back of your mind when you are shopping. Um, am I going to use this again? Will I throw it away? Please don't. But like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's stuff like that. So I don't think we should just boycott them all together because realistically it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. So just, you guys just got to slow down <laughs> and look at it a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. Be curious. Mm -hmm.